great. You look gorgeous. Oh, thanks so much. How Thank are you? you. I'm I'm really well, and I'm I'm extremely excited to be here, and I'm just so happy and proud of everyone for being here tonight. Yeah. I chatted to your gang earlier, and they were telling me about Sicily. Oh my God! Even though it was locked down, it felt sounded like it was pretty divine. The experience. It was divine. I mean. It, yeah, it was divine in some ways. It's a beautiful looking place. Um, we did have curfews and we did have, you know, we did have a lot to manage in that respect. Um, but there was an incredible heart to the company. Also, um, in the company, there were there were very sort of different animals in the company. I mean, we had folk singers, we had more sort of straight actors, we had all of the people from uh, lots of the people from knee high um, uh, in the theatre scenes, and um, yeah, so so you had very very different, very eclectic group of artists. And, and a lot of screen time with Haley. I was so taken by the costumes. Period pieces tend to be quite classic. It almost felt very Vivian Westwood-esque. Dior, um, Alexander McQueen, it felt very modern, but with that obviously period twist. What was it like getting into those costumes and of course working with Hayley? Well, um, well, Jacqueline Duran actually did Hayley's costumes. Um, I'm afraid I can't be very romantic about getting into the costumes because it was caused, I mean, it was, it, was, it was more fun getting out of the costumes, if I'm really honest, or having them loosened a bit at lunchtime. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, they, they look incredible. Hayley would often take pictures um, that she'd airdrop to me of, um, on, you know, on the set, she'd sneakily take a picture of me. The film was beautiful. I watched it literally the other day. My question is this, is it ever okay to lie? Yeah, is it ever okay in some situations? That's, that's a massive question. I, um, I have to say that I don't think it's all right in this situation because I think that um, what the two men, well, they deny themselves true love for a start. And, but mainly I think what isn't right is that they deny Roxanne the chance to grow up because she never, she never grows out of idealized love. She never grows out of, maybe I'm exposing more about myself, but um, she never grows out of the notion that you can have everything in one person. And I remember, I remember actually talking to Joe and him saying it's important to look for the middle in someone if, you, if you're really taken with someone, which I think is very good advice. That's really good advice. Thank you. Enjoy your <laughs>